Okay, for our first Wednesday lesson, we're gonna go over acceleration one more time. We're gonna do this, I'll walk you through a PowerPoint and you will do a simple lesson. And then I'll give you an option to uh, finish up. Finish up your telepaths writings. All right, acceleration is something that goes on all the time. Okay, there's acceleration here. The ball was not moving. He kicked the ball. And actually it was going its fastest when he initially kicked it. So it's accelerating as it flies because it's slowing down. The goalie is accelerating because the goalie is moving. The goalie was standing still and is now lunging toward the ball. Okay. The ball is also changing direction. Any goalie can tell you a soccer ball does not travel straight. It travels in an arching motion. All right. So there's acceleration all, all over this picture. These, these players are moving forward. They're accelerating. So when you kick a soccer ball, it speeds up. I mean, even if the soccer ball was already in motion, if you kick it, it's going to go faster than it was going. Okay. That's speeding up when you kick a soccer ball. That is acceleration. All right. That's acceleration. So again, this is not anything complicated or not related to the, your, your regular life. As a soccer ball flies through the air, it is inevitably slowing down and it's changing direction, okay? As it goes up and down, it's changing direction, even if there's no curve to it or bending as they call it in soccer. And again, it slows down as it flies through the air, okay? Now, a goalie can also slow a soccer ball down by you know, blocking it or even catching it. Or the goalie can also deflect the ball and make it change directions, okay? And that is acceleration. So as I've said, it comes down to this. There's three ways you can accelerate. You can speed up in a car. That's when you give it gas. You can slow down in a car. That's when you put on the brakes. You can change directions. Okay. Anytime you turn a corner while you're walking, you just accelerate it. Now, since speed and direction is what defines velocity, acceleration is simply a change in velocity. They mean the same thing. All right, because velocity is the speed you're going and what direction is you're, you're going. So if you do any one of these things, you change your velocity and that's an acceleration. Now, I do have a simple assignment that goes with this. It's at the top of your classwork. But another thing you can do, you can get a head start in doing your telepaths prompts. Again, log into Clever click on school city, click on take assessments, click on tell pass three to 12. Now, what I'd like you to do for this time is to do prompts four and five because they're a little bit more involved. If you wanna get ahead on that, that's something you can do right now. Prompt four, think about a story you have read, describe one of the main characters in the story discuss the character's motivations and how the author uses the character in the story to express a message, support your ideas with examples and details from the story, okay? So that, that one's pretty involved. It should be pretty easy to get your five sentences out of that one, all right? And then tell past prompt number five. Think about how you use math in your daily life. Think about using money, telling time, and how it might be used in a job. Explain if you think math is important. You know, if you think it's an important skill to learn and why you think it's important. Now, you actually use your math a lot more uh, than you might realize. 
okay? So pretty simple, pretty basic as far as a review on acceleration. But what I really want you to do, or I really think would be benefit for you to do is to get a head prompt, head start on these tail pass prompts because they're gonna take a while. So that's basically all I have for you today. Again, the, these lessons on Wednesday are gonna be short and brief to the point, something you can do in just a few minutes. So I'll see you in class uh, either Thursday or Friday, and I hope you enjoy your Wednesday.